Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fox Zero G here. Today we are going to be talking about the top five rebirth loadouts that you can be rocking in this season, season four of Warzone. So what we're going to be looking out for today is your long range, your SMGs, as well as a sniper in the mix. So what I'll be doing is going over what loadouts and how they are good and what you kind of look for in these loadouts. Comment down below on what loadout you are using for Rebirth Island. It is so much fun. I actually enjoy it much more than Verdant's. Just for the fact, if you have none of your friends online, you can easily queue up and you, more times than not, get a half-decent person that knows what they're doing on Rebirth versus in Verdansk. That being said, let's just go dive into it. Before we do that... I just want to say if you're not a subscriber already hit that sub button thank you very much also like the video share with a friend get your friends on this rebirth is a hell of a fun time all right now let's go dive into the top five all right for the rebirth loadouts what we're going to be looking at is number one is the milano and the xm4 so what we are going to do with this one's a little different just because of the milano what we're going to be using the Milano for is a long distance, long distance, and I'll tell you how to set this up, as well as we're going to use the XM4 for a short distance. I... All right, so for the Milano, how we're going to have this one set up is the agency suppressor. The agency suppressor is going to give us the sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage range, but it's going to give us a negative effect of the aim down sight speeds aiming walking steadiness as well as aim steadiness which is fine just for the fact that we are going to be using this for a long range weapon we got the reinforced heavy so that's going to give us some extra range as well as bullet velocity not sacrificing anything else you could go with the task force but the task force you're sacrificing your vertical and horizontal recoil control so you're better off going reinforced reinforced heavy we're going to put the axle three arms or axle arms three times as well as our field agent grip field agent grip is going to give us a vertical and horizontal recoil control don't have to worry about the ads firing movement speed and as well as the firing movement speed just for the fact that you are more or less going to stand still and we're going to run with the biggest mag the 55 round mag that is for the long range milano as for the XM4, what we're going to be wanting to do is probably going to be wanting to have the sound suppressor instead of the agency, just for the fact that our aim down sight speed, our bullet velocity, sprint to fire rate, and our sound suppressor is better off than our negative effect with the aim down sights because we're going to be using this as a quicker submachine gun style. That That's the reason why we don't go with the agency suppressor. As for a barrel, we're not going to be rocking a barrel. Tiger Team Spotlight, we're going to be moving quickly with this. That being said, Tiger Team Spotlight gives us that movement speed, aiming, walking movement speed, as well as the aiming stability gets a little bit bonky, but we got a buff to the long range or even the recoil pattern, so it's not as janky for the XM4, as well as the flashlights visible to enemies, as well, it does help you too when you're fighting those already nerfed rose skins bruiser foregrip because we're going to be moving a lot quicker and our hip fire accuracy we're going to be running the 45 you can run the 60 45 is quick um go with the 45 speed mag if you are having troubles as well as we're going to run with the microflex led the microflex led is just for that awkward range if you don't have good eyesight or if you're running a, a 240 hearts or something like that you might have too much of a screen monitor that you're looking all the way around this will help you focus in on that one spot and as well as if they go prone during the fight you'll be able to see them because of your reticle versus the gun blocking it and as for the perks you're going to be running double time you can run eod but eod is not really needed anymore there's no fire shotguns Quick fix, if you already kill people, if you're uh, that kill hungry, you can go with. Cold blood, you don't really have to worry about because there's no thermal optics. It's not season one anymore. Scavenger, okay, but it's not really going to help you. Kill chain, kills toward, or increase your chance of finding kill streaks in the boxes. You already have this effect on um, 
rebirth, you don't have to worry about it. As for perk 2, you can, since we are going this, you have to run the overkill. Um, other things that you might want to take is ghost or even uh, restock or high alert. I'll tell you more about them later. Perk 3, you can go with amped battle hardness if you're getting stunned or EMP, but it doesn't really affect that much. Tracker, if you're kill hungry and you want to uh, follow people and whatnot. Don't really have to watch, worry about spotter, trap, no, don't have to worry about it. Tune up is nice if you're reviving your teammates quickly. And what you want to be running for the lethals is either a throwing knife, so any of these, throwing knife. You can also run a thermal, if not a semtex, uh, C4, but you don't really run into a lot of... Um, vehicles in this so you don't really have to worry about the c4 and tactical you can go with a heartbeat flash stun um smoke if you really want there's no point for snapshot even though it did get a buff stim decoy you don't really have to worry about them um heartbeat or even a stun is probably your go-to and for a number two setup you're going to be running the far the far is super nice especially with all the buffs it got even with the little bit of nerf it just recently got it still fries so let's look at the setup so the guru suppressor so it's going to give us the sound suppressor and vertical recoil control bull of velocity as well as effective damage range aim down sight speeds a little nerfed as well as aiming walking st steadiness and aiming stability you're going to be wanting to run the uh, Spetsnaz RPK barrel because it's going to give you that bullet velocity, horizontal recoil control, effective damage range, as well as vertical recoil control. So it's going to be standing a lot still. You'll be able to control that recoil. Downfall of it is the hip fire accuracy, the aiming down sight speed, the moving sp or sprinting movement speed, as well as the aiming walking movement speed. That's not a problem because you have the backup weapon. XO3 arms, you already know, so it's going to be a longer mid to long range battle. You have the Spetsnaz grip, which gives you the horizontal and vertical recoil control, as well as a 60 round mag. That's how you're going to set up the Farah. And we are going to be running into the MAC 10. The MAC 10 is super fun. I It's probably one of my most favorite guns. So, how we're going to set this up is sound suppressor. So, sound suppressor aiming down. Aim down sight speed, bull velocity, sprint to fire, effective damage range does get nerfed, but you're going to be running into those med er, short to medium range, so you're not going to be really having to worry about the damage range. Um, sound suppressor no longer on the minimap as well. It's better than the agency suppressor just because the agency suppressor does give you the negative effect of the aim down sight speed, and that's truly what you want with an SMG or an SMG based gun that you have. So barrel you're gonna go to task force so you get that strafe speed it gives you a negative effect of the vertical and re or vertical and horizontal recoil control but you could probably change that up with like a ranger reinforced heavy just for that fact but with the reinforced heavy you are running into the issue of the sprinting movement speed and the aiming walking movement speed you want this M smg to be really quickly that's why we build it with the tiger team spotlight tiger team spotlight gives us the aiming movement speed as well as the aiming walking movement speed raider stock raider stock gives us the ads firing movement speed the aiming walking movement speed as well as the sprint to fire time so making it much much quicker to aim down sights and get gunning with that since it is a small mag you probably want to go with the 53 round drum mag and that is it that gun is so fun Ugh. same as before you're going to run double time overkill amped um semtex uh heartbeat sender, sensor that's probably your go-to for most of them you can swap that um semtex out for um a thermite or even a throwing knife if you truly are into that next up is the rebirth three this the sniper so the reason why i put this one on is because you always want to have a sniper into your loadout it's fun especially with the k swiss or the swiss k31 just for the fact that the, it's so quick it's 
flick to one, flick to one, flick to one. It is so quick on shooting as well as reloading is much quicker. For a muzzle, what we're going to be wanting to go with is a sound suppressor moderator just for the fact that aim down sight speed is much quicker, bull velocity, sprint to fire time over the guru suppressor just because the guru suppressor gives us vertical recoil control, which we don't really need. Effective um, damage range was okay, but it's still close range with the rebirth idol island and our bullet velocity and the aim down sight speed is get, has a negative effect. So you don't want to go with that. You want to go with the sound moderator. Next up, you want to go with the compact combat recon for that extra bullet velocity. You get a sway in there, but it's not too much to worry about. Just for the fact you're, you're on the snap, the quick snapshots of this. So you want to go with the 24.9 combat recon because you want your bullets to be hitting as soon as you fire them over the tiger team one it gives you a better fire rate but that's nothing really to worry about effective damage range bullet velocity your stray speed is getting nerfed with this that's why you're probably going to want to go with the combat recon and then for a laser since it got changed two three patches ago you're going to want to go with the SWAT five milliwatt aim or laser sight just for the fact that it gives you that aim down sight speed as well as aim stability. People can see the thing, but it, you're giving so much more control with it. Raider stock, just for the fact of ADS fire and movement speed, aiming walking smooth speed, as well as sprint to fire time is great on this. And then I went with the airborne elastic wrap just for the flinch resistance, aiming stability, as well as aim down sight speed. It, with this setup, it's really fun. You're snapping on everyone. You, you're pretty much super close enough so that you crack them in the head, either they're down or they're cracked. And from that, you can just press push from it. As for the SMG or the secondary, you want to go with the AK from Cold War. So how we have the setup is the sound suppressor on it for that bullet velocity, the aim sound sight speed, as well as sprint to fire rate giving us a negative effect from the effective damage range with not really to worry about and our sound suppressor so we're not on the minimap which is great for barrel i went with the liberator so we're getting that bullet velocity as well as the vertical recoil control you're not wasting anything with the aiming movement speed or or the horizontal vertical recoil control that you would get from this you want the liberator to be you want this gun to be quicker on the aim down sights. That's why we're not going that Spetsnaz or the VV or VD reinforced or the takedown just for those negative effects that you get. I guess you can go with the takedown, but you're running into the sprinting movement speed that you're getting a decrease. So that's why we're going with the Liberator. I prefer putting on the Microflex. You can change this off for either the Tiger Team Spotlight or a barrel if you're having a hard time dealing with the vertical or horizontal recoil control or anything like that and then we get the stock the kgb skeletal stock so ads firing movement speed aiming walking speed as well as sprint to fire time you're getting those quick ads movements which is great and then we're going with the 45 round you can go with the 60 round but you're aiming your aim down sight speed is getting reduced so that's why we're going with the 45 and it just hits really hard that's why we're going to want to run with the ak same as before, double time, overkill, amped. You got the lethals, don't have to worry about it. Same with the tacticals. And for our fourth one. And then for our fourth one, we're going to want to set it up with the ram. So with the ram, we're going to put on the monolith expressor for that aiming or damage range increase as well as sound suppression. Our aim down sight speed is getting a nerf a little bit and aiming walking steadiness, which is fine. You're going to be posted up. For a barrel, we're going to want to go with the Ranger. Damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, aim down sight speed is getting nerfed a little bit, as well as our movement speed. But you can also combat that with going the Forge Attack Ellipse. So we can go with that. We can go with the laser. So we're going to want to run the attack laser. Aiming down sight speed is getting increased, as well as aim stability, aiming steadiness as well. Under barrel, you're going to want to go command a foregrip for the aim stability, aim steadiness, as well as the negative effect of movement speed. You're going to run with the 50 mag. So if you are having a hard time with this weapon, you can change it around a little bit. So if you take off the tack laser, you want this to be a little bit more down the range. You can go with the corp combat hollow sight. 
and that will help you out. You can also customize the reticle and get the blue dot so it's easier to see. And then moving on, we have the nail gun. The nail gun, although got a nerf up close, since this build is pretty much mid-range, anything up close with the nail gun, you're just going to be shredding through anyone. Perks are the same as before. Double time, overkill, amped, don't have to worry about it. Lethals, the Semtex, Heartbeat. Like I said, you can go with the Sun Grenade, don't have to worry about it. As for our fifth and final one, I love the C58 just because it packs a punch just like the Amex did before. And how we have that set up is the Agency Suppressor, so the Sound Suppressor, Vertical Recoil Control, the Bullet Velocity, Effective Damage Range, all increased. But we have a nerf of the aim down sight speed as well as the aiming stability, which is not really to worry about because it's a long or mid to long range gun. Task force we're going to be running just be just because of the barrel the lot or the bullet velocity, horizontal recoil control, effective damage range, as well as the vertical recoil control. So it's not slipping away, it's not bouncing up too high. It's easy to maneuver with this. You don't have to worry it going all over the place. Negative effects is the aiming walking movement speed, the hip fire accuracy, the aim down sight speed, as well as the aiming or the sprint movement speed, which is not a problem because of our secondary. I love our secondary. Um, it, if you want this to be more close, you can run it with the Microflex LED. If not, you can put on the uh, axle arms three times. You want to run the field agent grip, which gives you the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Like I said before, the pairing of the bullets are much closer together. You don't have to worry about it. Our firing movement speed, our ADS firing movement speed, not to worry about because you're going to be standing still more or less and just firing. The gun hurts a lot. And then for an ammunition with, with our 55 round drum mag versus the 45, just for the fact that you're here to pack a punch. As for secondaries, we're going to go with the Cold War MP5. So we're going to go with the sound suppressor. Sound suppressor has the aiming down sight speed increase bullet velocity as well as our sprint to fire time increase effective damage range is decreased but like like i said with all these smgs this is your go-to just for the fact that with the agency suppressor you're getting the negative effect from uh, the aim down sight and that is what you're using for most of these uh smgs that being said for a barrel we're not going to worry about rocking one our tiger team spotlight to give us the movement speed increase as well as the aiming walking movement speed able to strafe side to side much quicker might it just full movement ability with this mp5 cold war bruiser grip just for the fact of movement speed hip fire accuracy you're going to move, move your clock quicker go with the 50 round drum mag and the raider stock the raider stock is the Firing movement speed, the walking movement speed, the sprint to fire time. You're just going to be moving a lot quicker with this gun. This gun's awesome. Perks before, double time, overkill, amped. You're going to run Semtex, flash grenade. You can run a stun with this one. Even I'd even run a throwing knife just for the fact that it, you don't want to waste all your bullets on a three-man or something. You can easily throw a knife once you attack them or once you kill them. And then finally, I just put this one in because I think everyone should have it. So it doesn't matter, you can run the Guru. Um, but how you want to set it up is the Monolithic, Monolithic Suppressor, Tempest Archangel for that barrel increase, the damage range, the bullet velocity, vertical recoil control, the aim down sight speed, movement speed is negative, but it's not worry. Commando foregrip just for the recoil stability in this and our 60 round mag because you can. The reason why we have the Guru is just for the fully loaded so you get all your ammo. And then the same with the Skykov, you Skykov, Monolithic Suppressor, fully automatic, five milliwatt, you can actually go with the text because you're aiming down the sights. 80 round drums because awesome. And then you wanna go with the fully loaded just for the fact that it, it, this is a fully loaded Kit, you're gonna get all your ammo back when you get it and then the perks I have with this is double time ghost and amps just for the fact that ghost you don't have to be running another one for to get that fully full ammo and that is it for all these rebirth 
loadouts. These are the top five that I would recommend. Don't forget to sub to me. Thank you for watching. All right, that's it. Fox OG, we out.